What's up champions? Welcome back to our show and today we have something special for you. We are going to unbox and test a new electric skateboard called One Wheel XR. Yay! Let's do it! And before we start I have special thanks to our friend Wayne Brooks from Jetboard Limited who got everything delivered to us in just three days. So if you want to get one make sure to contact Wayne. Alright without further ado let's get started and open up this box. Here we go guys! Inside is One Wheel XR. It stands for Extended Rate. This new One Wheel has about 19 miles range and about 19 miles per hour maximum speed. It's much better and much faster than another model called Pinto, which is cheaper and has less range. All right. Oh, not so black! <laughs> Ta da! What do we have here? We got some stickers, we got some welcome guide It will teach you how to ride it, but who cares? We got it! Don't worry about it! Oh my gosh, look at this guys! What is this? One wheel! <laughs> oh, this is, has a lot of work, this is very heavy It's about 15 kilograms Wow! It's big and very sturdy. I love it. The quality is just amazing. What else do we have? We have a charger. We got the charger here and we got the wheel cover. That's it. Here you go guys. This is one wheel. So this is the front pad and this is your back leg pad. All right. Everything is ready. Now we need to charge it up. Pair the one wheel up and one everything wheel. is ready to go. One wheel. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. It's time for you to learn how to one wheel in two minutes or less. This thing is self balancing. So if you have any experience with Segway, hoverboard, or any other electrical board, this will be a breeze for you. The learning curve is really easy. So if even my six year old can do it, so can you. All right, set your clock in and let's get started. Step number one, find a big open area like sandy beach, parking lot or a grass field where there are no distractions. Step number two, stretch well and then put your gear on, especially your helmet, your gloves and your knee pads. Step number three, before riding you are going to learn how to start and stop. That's the most important part. For this step you are going to need a help of your friend or just a sawhorse so you can hold on to it. Now turn the one wheel on by pressing this button while it stays on the ground. Hold on to your friend or sawhorse and get on the horizontal position. Once it stays like this it starts self-balancing. If you feel some shaking in your muscles don't worry about it. If you lose balance just use the sawhorse to help yourself. To stop and jump off simply use your both legs at the same time like this. Another way is to lift your toe like a dance move from the front sensor. And then it stops. The next step is to learn to feel the board by moving left and right slowly. Something like so. And finally when you feel comfortable you are ready to go straight. Make sure you point your finger in the direction you are going to go and always look straight, never look down. And you have to put on some speed guys, you have to commit, same like with the bicycle. If you go too slow, it's really hard to balance. So put in some gas. Finally, when you feel comfortable going straight, put your cones up and start learning how to carve and turn. Bend your legs and start pushing back and front to turn. And that's two minutes. Now you're ready for your first 20 mile trip. Let's go!
it was such an amazing experience guys and it's time to tell you what i love about it and what i hate about it let's go you see guys i really don't like electric skateboards the micro vibration is just killing my legs but one wheel completely solved this problem by providing me with the perfect gliding experience which is close to the snowboarding on the fresh powder day and that's what i love about it the most another thing i really enjoy there are no annoying remote controls and this gives you another level of freedom and i was really surprised how easy it is to learn it even my six-year-old daughter could learn it in the first session you can take it to places where no bicycle and no skateboard can go like your favorite beach and it really gives you a true flying experience what's also amazing guys is how much technology they put in the board which is so small it's so intelligent that even if the battery is low it will provide you with a pushback so that you won't just nose dive you'll slow down very carefully and then you can stop this is truly amazing what I don't like about it is a one wheel up. It is always losing connection when I take it out of my pocket and having a hard time calculating the remaining range. And what I hate about it the most is the poor range that I'm getting. I don't know what kind of lightweight kits are getting advertised 19 mile range, but what, for me, I'll be lucky if I get about 10 miles on a better day. You're just getting started and it's already out of juice. That is very disappointing. But all in all, guys, this is an amazing product which stands in the category of its own. And everybody should try it. I'm not surprised it quickly got a big following of the raving fans. But what's most important, this is a family-friendly product and your kids are going to love it. Aha! What do you think? Is it easier or harder to learn than a skateboard? Easy! Yeah. So basic. Skateboard is like this. And um, how is this called again? One wheel! One wheel, it's like this! And now I'm going to show you two easy tricks which are very easy to learn but will make you look like a pro. The first one is called jump start and all you need to do is to jump on your board quickly and push stronger with your front leg, like so. The second one is called 180 rotation and it's a very impressive trick guys. But it will take you about two to three sessions to master it. First, you have to learn how to ride switch. Meaning, if you're a regular foot guy, then you have to learn how to ride goofy with your back leg forward. The best way to learn 180 rotation is to pick an area with less friction. For example, wet, sandy beach or a grass field. When you're ready to do the rotation, try to reduce the friction by doing the movement up, like if you're jumping. And try to move your torso at the same time, starting with your upper body and the legs flat. Finally, to avoid the nose diving, push more on the back leg after the rotation is done. That's it for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!